It's an absolute privilege to be speaking to our brand new signing. Um, I wouldn't want to make any presumptions, so I'm going to throw it straight over to you. How do we pronounce your name? Alasana Jata. Jata, okay. So hopefully our fans have heard that and we can move forward and never have to ask that question again. I can't say welcome to Notts County because obviously from the background you, you haven't arrived here yet, but the, the move has been completed. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel excited and thank you for having me here. And I can say more than the, I'm, I'm excited and uh, it's an honour to represent a club like North County with so much history. Like I said, I saw it's like the oldest football cup in the world. So it's an honour to represent North County and uh, have that uh, black and white stripe in me. So that's exciting. We can see from the photographs in the background that you are um, recording this interview at Viborg. And I know that uh, Viborg will be a club that's very close to your heart, having spent so long there, enjoyed a lot of success there as well. Can you just tell us about your time there and how grateful you are to them as a club as well? Well, as you, as you can see, uh, I will, I'm just done doing my uh, workouts from the gym, so I'm now in the changing room, about to go home and start to record this. But of course, Viborg is a great, great city. It, it's nice, not really big, but fun and uh, quiet, tranquility is everything. And I uh, have some really, really good memories with this club. They sweep up, they have uh, really good players, the administration, the fans and everything is really, really nice in this city. I feel like I've been uh, taken care of for a while and uh, I feel like home in here. So I was really, really had a good time in this club. But it's really actually, I guess it's time to get a new challenge somewhere else. It is. And it must be nice that the last goal that you scored for Viborg is such a memorable one. That fantastic goal against FC Copenhagen, which our fans have been really excited to see. Is that going to be one of your lasting memories? Yeah, it's something that's going to be with me for for, for, for quite a long time. Because it's, it's like a, a goodbye goal, if I can say it <laughs> that way. Because I really didn't know this is what's going to happen. But in the, in the world of football, everything can happen in a split of a second. But of course, I would want to say a, a really, really good, good way to say goodbye. But of course, you can't do much about it. And the, the, how is it called? The season is actually on break and we're on, on training camp. So you can't do much, maybe write something on social media or sort of. But it would be a pleasure to say a goodbye to the fans and everyone. And or of, or of course, in football. So you never know. Well, I'm sure everybody will wish you well from Viborg as you move into this new challenge. Before we talk about knots, um, I'm just intrigued to hear a, a bit more about your own story. Obviously, you're, you're from the Gambia. Uh, you might be surprised to know that you're not actually the first Gambian to play for Notts County, but that's where you were born. That's where you grew up. Just tell us about where your love for football came from. Well, um, I can say my love for football came from my dad and my mom because they saw like, my mom was um, like an athlete when she was young. My dad also was playing football, not like professional, but he was so passionate and he got his leg broken. So he's oh. like lifting whenever he walks, but he has like a, a trademark or a scar of football. <laughs> so, and he's sadly to say he's a real Madrid fan. So all our living room and everything is being decorated by real Madrid posters. So he, <laughs> Blackmail us for some of them when we were young and sure of, but like everybody in our community know how passionate he is about football. So it's not like a surprise for me to be playing football and I like it. But I've, I've been brought up in a home where like everybody is interested in football. So I can say I have that kind of passion from my family. And I've been the, after school, I've been playing football, but my dad was not really in for it because it's a little bit complicated. So I was trying hiding, playing. <laughs> when I have to come back home, I need to have shower from my friends, put my uniform in my bag. <laughs> and just to show me it like nothing happens in the background. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. But of course, my dad plays a huge role of having passion for football. And then, so obviously you were a talented footballer as a, as a child. Tell us how you took that step from being that kid that loved football and was playing any moment he could to becoming a professional and playing in Estonia. Well, it's something that I have been believing since I was young because I haven't uh, have much to prove that because I have been standing out most of the time when we played uh, some tournaments, some local tournaments, all the way to the Gambit First Division. I didn't spend much time in my local Copyright Levanyu because I kicked them so much. 
And after that, I went to Estonia just for a week on the trial, and they got impressed and signed me on the contract. I was there for like a year, and also scored so many goals. And of course, I've cranked me and moved to Viborg. And what was it like moving away from Gambia for the first time to Estonia, and then obviously more recently to Viborg? Because that's a brave decision. It's it's actually a brave decision because I have no idea what to live by your own or live in another city or another country, being far from your family or sort of, it was something else that been, of course, it has a, a huge impact growing up as a man because you can't feel like home every time, but you need to try to adapt to every situation. But it was like a brief, brief and a challenging decision to do at first. And does the experience of moving to those new countries help you with this decision at this stage of your career where, again, you're taking another step to somewhere that you've never played football before in England? Yeah, of course. Of course, it really, really helped me because when I was in Estonia, I was like 19, sort of, because 19 to 20 years old, so it was it was quite young. I have I've never lived outside my family, so it was kind of tough. I was like having a little bit homesick. But after I got like all the things and materials I need, I actually really, really settled in and of course tried to grow as a man as a professional to get the ball going. So what is it about England and Notts County that makes you want to come here? Because I, from what I gather, there was a lot of interest in you this January and you, you probably had some different choices that you may have been able to make in, in where you were next going to go. Well, like, like you knew, like there are of course some uh, offers coming in, knocking on my door, I'm sort of, but not country, like uh, interest came in late and my agent brought it in the table and we discussed about it, talked with my dad about it. And of course, with uh, I have a very deep conversation with the coach and uh, the CEO of the club. He tell me a little bit more about the city and North County, their project and everything. So I feel like it's something that actually caught my attention the ambition of the club is and what they want to achieve in the long run. So I feel like I, I, I'm i really excited or want to take that challenge to be part of that uh, objective of the club. Has it has it ever been a dream or, or a, an ambition of yours to, to play football in England? I can say, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, I can say it's like a dream, but it was something that I've been walking towards. So it's like something that's like a, it's, it might be possible to play uh, my, my professional career to play in England somewhere, somewhere in England. Of course, it's now it's a reality. And let's see what's going to happen. You're joining a club that scores a lot of goals. Um, you may have heard of Macaulay Langstaff already. He scored a huge number of goals over the last uh, couple of seasons with us. Um, we're one of the top scoring teams in the division. How much does that make as an appealing prospect for a, an attacking player like yourself when you're considering whether or not to come here? That's actually a really, really good uh, and a very, very positive side to see as an, as an offensive player to be in a team where like offensively when it has to be offensive it, it's really really good so you will know there is something positive about this club and of course as an attacker you also want to be in that kind of uh, atmosphere or, or environment to actually try to help the team get more and more goals. You mentioned the word atmosphere there and we can say that uh, with a lot of confidence about our home matches because we get over 11,000 fans on average this season coming to our games. How much are you looking forward to arriving at Meadow Lane, seeing the stadium and then playing in your first match in front of a new set of fans? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that and say like a hello to the fans and of course do whatever I have to do to make them happy every week in, week out because that's, that's what I'm here to do. So I'll try my level best to give my 100% towards the club objectives. On the subject of the fans, you will surely have seen on social media since reports came out from the Danish press about you potentially coming here, you must have seen the enthusiasm of our supporters about your arrival and uh, how encouraging they already have been about uh, the potential that you have to do great things here. That must be nice for you. Yeah, I guess it's something that I've been uh, hearing from you because I'm not really that type of guy who's really exposed to the social media because I don't want all that stress and sort of course I'm not into that but it's nice to hear from you like there is so much stuff with the fans and everything but like I said I'm 
really, really, it's like an honor to represent the club and give my 100% from day one. Fantastic. And how much are you looking forward to arriving in Nottingham and building a new life for yourself? You're joining a club that will help you in every step of finding a accommodation, settling in with the, your new teammates. You know, you're joining a, a family really in Notts County. Is it exciting to be starting a new chapter in your life, not only your career? Of course, it's, it's really, it's really, really, really exciting. So I'm looking forward to meeting all the great people because I have had some really, really positive uh, info about North County, the atmosphere, the uh, main players, the well, guys surrounding the club and everything. I'm really, really excited to meet everyone involved in this club. Well, we're excited to meet you as well. Um, we wish you a safe journey across to England and we can't wait to see you in that black and white shirt. Of course, of course. I'm also really, really excited. I can't wait to be there.